Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. Congratulations goes out to none other than Beth Phoenix, who was named the WWE Hall of Fame today. Um, they've, they've gone on a little bit of a streak um, of, of naming people each and every week now um, as we count down until WrestleMania. I saw a lot of tweets uh, and a lot of uh, posts on Facebook. I believe it was yesterday. Um, people saying that it was 30 days until they take off for their WrestleMania 33 trip. Um, Beth Phoenix going into the Hall of Fame, honestly, in my mind, uh, she's not the, the number one pick um, for a woman to go into the Hall of Fame. Honestly, in my opinion, um, I think that honestly, when, you, when it comes down to it, Sable might be the most deserved um, name uh, to go into the Hall of Fame for, for the women's division. Um, but yeah, maybe maybe she doesn't want to be seen. Maybe she doesn't want to, you know, sort of come back to WWE. Maybe Brock doesn't want her to do it. Uh, I, she, you know, that if Brock's gonna be there, Sable's gonna be there with the family and everything like that. But um, I, I don't know. Honestly, Sunny's in, and then that, you know, we may, I guess maybe Miss Elizabeth maybe might be more than Sable. But it is what it is. Beth had a really good career. Um, in WWE, and honestly, I was always uh, a really big fan of hers. Um, one of the reasons why I liked Beth Phoenix is it's probably for the reason that I felt like she's a, a woman that was in there that that really could kick my ass. Um, I think she was the first woman ever. No, she wouldn't have been because China was in the Royal Rumble in '99. I was I was gonna think that she's probably one of the first women to go in uh, to the Rumble. But uh, she was able to eliminate uh, Kali um, with that monstrous kiss and then dumping uh, Kali over the rope. Um, so maybe she's the first woman to have an elimination uh, in, in a Royal Rumble. Um, she really held her own um, with the brand. Uh, she was on Raw. She was on SmackDown. I think, I think Beth Phoenix had the setback where Beth Phoenix made her debut on Raw. And I think she broke her jaw. So it was kind of like she had a run-in. Um, you know, she was involved in a skirmish, and then she was gone, and we didn't see her, uh, honestly, uh, for a long time. Um, Beth had a really good career in WWE. When she left, um, she was able to find love with none other than Edge, um, and I think they—I'm not sure if they've got married or not, but I know that they have two babies um, that they're raising out there in the Carolinas. Um, Beth Phoenix, you know, she does the rounds. You do or you, you do see her on some conventions here and there. Um, Matt Lorenzo um, made a really good day in the life video where they met her at a, um, a convention. I'm trying to remember what the heck the, the name of it is. Um, they go to it every year, but um, she was in love with Matt Lorenzo's MacGyver shirt, and I think that's part of the reason why um, he, he's taking the MacGyver guy name. Um, so a little bit of the rub to the uh, the YWC. Um, I can't really think of off the top of my head. I know that she was the champion. Um, I would guess maybe Mickey James was probably one of her biggest rivals, I, I guess you can say. When I made the video talking about Kelly Kelly yesterday, I remember Kelly Kelly defeating Beth Phoenix um, for the championship. So they had a little bit of a rivalry there. Um, I don't really think of, of Kelly Kelly and Beth Phoenix being you know the best of friends but everyone has said that kelly kelly is going to be making a speech at the hall of fame so i'm guessing that she's going to be inducting somebody um i was sort of uh, it was a long reach because honestly if tommy dreamer was going into the hall of fame um i don't think that tommy dreamer would ask kelly kelly to do the speech for him but i know that um, Kelly Kelly has said that Tommy Dreamer is one of the best friends that she has involved in wrestling. When she did her sit-down shoot interview um, with RF Video, um, she said that the only condition that she would do it was if Tommy Dreamer was the one who asked the questions. Um, but I, I guess maybe you put Beth um, in there and you have Kelly Kelly do the speech. But um, that we'll probably have to see in a week or two when they start naming off who's doing the speeches for people once they run out of inductees. So we'll see what goes down. Hall of Fame right up around the corner. Peace out, everybody. Congratulations, Beth Phoenix.